What is up? What is up, y'all? We are officially in orientation week here for residency, as you can tell. You may think I look spiffy, but that's only because I have a professional headshot today, which is what I'm going for. Um, I don't look that spiffy either. I need to fix my hair. But all that to say, only the top half looks professional. And even this, I just changed into. But orientation week basically means we are getting for residence. We are getting ready for residency without actually being residents yet. We will be starting very soon. I've been doing so much this week, like getting to know my fellow colleagues, classmates, playing some basketball with them, getting adjusted to California, figuring out how to move into my apartment, getting ready with EPIC training, which is what we just had, um, you know, meeting mentors, faculty, understanding the expectations and all of those things. So it's a lot of moving parts. But all that to say, I'm very grateful to be in this position. It's kind of what you work for your whole like med school, undergrad, high school, and now you finally can be the one writing the orders and the notes. And it's very overwhelming, and I don't think I'm ready for it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So now I'm gonna actually head back. Right now I'm at one of Stanford's affiliate campuses. I'm gonna head back near the hospital, and I should get my headshot taken. After that, we have four hours of modules that we're gonna be watching. Uh, and then, you know, we have like a few more days of orientation and then it's game time, baby. Anyway, I'm, I just wanted to take you all with me. Uh, and more importantly, I've been, you know, showing my white coat. I showed my graduation. Why not show some residency too while we're at it? So let's go. We're on campus now, headed over to get my picture taken. So the other thing about Stanford that's per particularly interesting is that they have also a very consolidated campus. So like the med school is literally right next to the hospital. So I'm in the med school right now, handling logistics stuff. The hospital is just like two streets over. All right, let's go get our picture taken. All right, so this took a lot, lot out of me, but basically I uh, got home like really fast after epic orientation. Actually, I had to squeeze in that professional headshot that I told you about in between. Got home, I had around 30 minutes and that was, I was like, if I don't run now, I'm not gonna run because we have activities planned for like the whole day. So I ran from literally 210 to 240. Right when I finished, I logged on to our Zoom to, there's like an orientation that we're gonna be in now. And then from two to six, we're basically listening to these talks. Starting at six, um, we have a bunch of happy hours and just social activities. Uh, not to mention, I still have to like kind of implement the things we learned today, like making sure I have epic access, understanding how to write notes, creating templates, all those things. It's just a lot, but you know, I guess this is kind of the new vibe, find time for things that you care about, which for me was running and making sure I get that in. So I got my four miles in, I'll show you right there. I'm sweating right now um, and I'm logging into my talks. We'll listen to that. Any break I get, I'm gonna shower and then just onwards, everyone, onwards. So orientation is going well. We are now in, in a very exciting uh, presentation about social media and the power and detriment it can actually have for patient care. Um, I obviously picked a program where I was very open about my uh, YouTube presence and the, the belief that I have that media and technology can supplement education. Uh, but it is actually really cool to be in a presentation where they, they actually implore us to use it, but they want us to use it well. And so that's the part about it that I'm really impressed with. Um, so let me just show you a bit about it. It's awesome. Example of your voice can have a lot of power. And what I really want to get through is I briefly mentioned earlier is that What's going on everyone? I am uh, sorry to have logged off so early last night. It was just a crazy and busy day. What ended up happening is that even after I had finished getting my picture, I came back for like five hours of a virtual orientation where we had to go to like the v VA CPRS training, understanding templates and all of those things, which in and of itself is like really intense and something that I felt like not a lot of people have talked about before. Like you just do so much onboarding to even start becoming even barely functioning in the hospital. And that's been like overwhelming, but at the same time also like super grateful that I'm getting this training because otherwise I would be lost, uh, middle of the woods kind of thing. And so that was Thursday. And then last night I actually got home and I got a new iPhone. So if you notice any change in quality, that's probably it. And I had to set that whole thing up. I got it set up and it's interesting because I also have to get it set up to be compliant here at Stanford. So I'm just here for like a brief physical, getting everything checked, making sure I'm healthy. And then from there, we're gonna get our white coats. We're gonna get some swag, I think, because our official first start date is in a few days. And so it's getting too real, too fast. I just wanted to show you that update. 
Brand new day. As you can tell, I'm not much of a morning person, but I got myself up today. I'm on time. I'm ready to attack the day. Another day of orientation is done. I am here at the Palo Alto VA. It's actually one of the most beautiful VAs I've ever seen. I think most VAs are, are quite nice, but this is especially nice. Uh, we got training in CPRS, it's a lot of training in CPRS, but as with a lot of things, a lot of logistics just take time to hammer out and I feel like a lot of learning is gonna be done on the job. Um, after that training, which actually took four hours, um, we actually just you know kind of hung out for a bit and now there's a intern bonding event at a restaurant in Palo Alto, which I think I might be going to. I'm just like exhausted. Like it's interesting because people say intern year is hard and I feel like I haven't even started yet and I'm tired and I can barely keep up with the orientation activities. Um, just another form of imposter syndrome, I guess. But with all the craziness and the toughness that comes with starting a new chapter, there are also things to be very happy and grateful for, which I find to be one of the ways to stay a little bit more sane. And one of the things I was really pumped about today is this. I actually got my ID and it says MD, which is crazy. I worked so hard for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's happening, it's happening. I In theory, I have this weekend off, but I'm in this thing called Jeopardy, which means if someone is unable to go to their shift, I could get called, which means I'm technically kind of sort of on call. Uh, so I can make small plans, but not too many large plans. So. It'll be fun. Um, I'm hoping I still get a bit of the weekend, but you never know with these things. Maybe when I get home, I'll show you all a bit of my swag and then we gonna start. All right, it's been a very long day, but we're finally back. I actually spent the last like three hours or so hanging out at um, a nice little restaurant in Palo Alto. It's called The Patio. It was a culmination of the entire orientation experience. So all of the interns uh, as well as faculty got together, just talked. A lot of people are starting very soon. And so for that reason, it was like a big way to celebrate. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you all that I didn't get a chance to show you is that today was also the day we got a lot of our swag pickup because you're starting and they're going to require a lot of things to be a functioning resident. So let me start with the first piece of swag, which is the most obvious. But I do have my white coat now, the long white coat. So if you don't already know, when you're a med student, you get a short white coat, which means the white coat usually ends right around the hips, a little bit lower. A long white coat is the one that usually goes to the knees and a bit below. And that's the sign of like doctor versus med student who usually have a shorter white coats. But that's the first piece. I actually got two coats like that one, but there's more. Next up, I got this handy dandy North Face jacket with my name and degrees on it. Um, this is nice because I already have a Patagonia, so I didn't need more uh, Patagonias, but I didn't have North Face. And this one's nice because it's nice and black, uh, pretty warm, but California doesn't get too cold anyway, so it's nice to have. Got pairs of scrubs. So these are hospital issued. I have around two of these, um, two pairs, which is nice because we don't, we actually have a more casual culture. So on inpatient rotations, when you're actually taking care of patients in the hospital, you can wear scrubs. So those are my scrubs. Those are ready to go. Everything else is kind of small. We got my ID, which is my official ID. And there's a ton of stuff attached to it, which is nice because everything I need is essentially here. Got a nice little mug, a wireless battery charger. Uh, this is the webcam cover. And this actually is a nice little thing for me to hold my phone when I need it. So a lot of cool things here. You know, and they're giving us little pamphlets to get ready. So it's pumped. It's all happening so fast. All that to say, it's, you know, it's so real. It's so real. This is what you're working towards, I guess. So now I'm going to actually go on a run because I didn't eat that healthy today or this week in general. And so I'm still trying to maintain at least 20 miles of running a week. We'll see if I can do that during residency. But so far, at least this year, I almost have run like a thousand miles so far this year, which is saying a lot. Just tells you how active I've been. I know I won't be able to be as active during residency, but I still want to maintain a certain level. And that starts today, which is even though I'm tired, I'm still going to get in a short run just for the sake of um, sticking to principles. All right. It's actually very close to midnight. And I guess this is the perfect summation of the whole day, but I did just finish running four miles, a bit sweaty. I guess this is the benefit of being at home. Um, fortunately, I think I know my neighborhood quite well. So even when I run at night, I feel like it's a pretty safe environment and I know where to go. So I got my four miles in, 30 minutes, felt good, 400 calorie calories. And more importantly, I felt really happy about being able to stick to this aspect of, you know, keeping certain things in your life a constant and if you go a certain number of days without doing them trying to make sure you prioritize them and i had gone a while without running and so this was nice to get 
Um, and now I'm just going to shower, get ready for bed. And, uh, you know, residency's coming up. But hopefully this has shown you a brief insight into, like, all the orientation. And we'll just continue keeping it going.